when a bank extends a loan, um, it creates money. Let's say that I want to buy um, a very expensive watch of 100,000 euros and I don't have the money. I can go to a bank and ask for a consumption loan. Now, if they're a good bank, they say no, that we're not going to give you the consumption loan to buy this expensive watch. But if they do give me it, they don't give me a bag of money, they will just take my credit card, my passport, perhaps there will be something done on a computer keyboard, some signatures, that's it, right? I walk away with a watch on my wrist, uh, very happily, supposedly. Now, at this point, money has been created. This money didn't exist this morning when I got up and decided to buy the watch and take out a loan. That's new money, fresh money. That's how banks create money. Banks bring new money into the economy as they make up loans. Therefore, if you expand the stock of money, you also expand the stock of debt. Right? Basically, the banks sit there, they wait for deposits to arrive, and if they have enough deposits, they lend them out to somebody else. And that is completely wrong. This is the wrong model of banks, uh, because what happens in reality is exactly the opposite. And I've done this, I'm a banker, I know that that's how it works, and you can read it on many central bank websites, that that's how it works, is that banks, when they decide the economy is good, we are optimistic, we are now making loans, they don't need to wait for any deposits, because when they make a loan, they create the deposit. Right there, banks create money out of thin air.